All right, guys, welcome back to my basement. Uh, last time we were down here, we did a 30 minute chest workout. So the response to that was pretty overwhelming. You guys seem to like it. I know that you guys appreciate anything that's gonna save you time. And I understand that, right? I've got a family, I've got multiple jobs. <laughs> so anything that's gonna save me time, I personally appreciate. This is something to that end that I do fairly often. It could be early in the morning, come down here at 5 a.m., 5.30 in the morning, and I just gotta get it done, right? So, I'm not saying it is the ideal shoulder workout, but you wanna know something, man. Do you really need to be spending an hour training delts? Probably not. So, especially if you're training back heavy, you're gonna hit quite a bit of rear delt. When you train chest heavy, you're gonna work a lot of front and medial delt. So, doing it fast like this, with the way I'm gonna do it, basically giant sets, we're gonna do barbell shoulder press, we're gonna do rear pec deck flies, and side lateral raises. When that's all done, we're probably gonna do like, I don't know, three to four rounds of that. When it's all done, we're probably gonna do some dips. At that point, I'm gonna see what I'm getting for reps. I might add weight to them, do a few sets of that. Call it a day, man. So if we can bang that out in 30 minutes, I'll call it a success. So right now, it's five, let's call it 520, and, uh, We'll time this and make sure it's done in 30 minutes. So here we go. All right, I was deliberating on what kind of weight to use. I'm certainly not at my strongest at the moment, so I hope I don't disappoint anybody. But uh, I was warming up with a couple plates. It felt a little heavy. <laughs> so I decided to go two plates and a quarter. Let's, um, let's see how it goes. Considering I'm not that strong at the moment, I'm gonna put that into my first set. So of the three movements we're doing, barbell press, rear flies, and side laterals, I'm gonna make pressing the first movement, so hopefully I get a couple more reps than I normally would. Quick tip for you guys, when you're doing these, right, you could, when you look at the positioning of the handles, you could either pull them toward you, right, like this, or push them forward. If you want to hit your rear delt as hard as possible, you want to try to picture pushing the handles forward as you're doing it. That'll place the most stress. And in terms of grip, right, you could do this or you could do that. I prefer, if I'm trying to hit my delts, to keep this grip. Doing this, I feel like I hit more rhomboid and middle back. So keep the grip like this and try to push it forward and stay up straight. one set you know really there's two schools of thought when it comes to small muscle groups right delts biceps triceps calves abs all smaller muscle groups some people are like well they're small muscle groups you can train them more often you can beat the hell out of them or there's some people say well small muscle groups you don't have to beat the hell out of them what's the right answer 
I mean, I think if you do train smaller body parts, like biceps, triceps, shoulders, if you give them their de like dedicated workouts, rather than just hit them indirectly with chest training and back training, they're still gonna get a lot of stimulus on those other days. So to say, well, I'm gonna go so far as to even train them twice a week on their own, I think that's too much. Because you're gonna use your shoulders a lot when you train back and when you train chest. So I think doing them once a week with their own dedicated workout, even if it's a fast workout, is plenty. On that note, let's jump into the second round. Ha! When you do these style workouts, you definitely got to check your ego because your strength is definitely going to drop off fairly quick because you're doing exercises one after another. And even though you're going to take a decent rest in between, still quite a bit because you just did three movements in a row. Fresh. <sighs> All right, so trying to push forward rah, instead of pulling it to me, right? Keep it forward. Uh, woof, woof. Rah, rah. Rear delts, really important and often neglected. And if you really want to train them the way you should be training them. You want to hit something like this and maybe another movement like bent over laterals because people tend to think of shoulder as big. You know, you see someone from the front and you go, whoa, dude's got big shoulders. And then they turn to the side and the freaking thing ends right here. When someone turns to the side, you want wide caps that go from the front to the back and they're deep from the side. That's a big delt. Hmm. A quick point about barbell presses. I feel like I don't see people do them maybe as often as I would expect to. And I think a lot of times people forgo this movement in favor of, I don't know, different machines and stuff. Listen, it's not the same thing, all right? <laughs> when you have to unrack that bar and balance it, um, there's no leverage, there's no pivoting. You gotta just balance it and press it. And yes, you will develop, I was gonna say better shoulders, but I'm gonna say a, a bigger upper body, all right, when you do a movement like this. People could point to, well, you're gonna get more muscle recruitment by doing blah, blah, blah exercise. Listen, man, it's not meant to be an isolation movement, all right? We all want a bigger upper body, I think, unless you don't, you're, you know something? You're right, your upper body's probably too big already. You want a big upper body, you want big shoulders, you want big arms. Doing compound movements like this, a lot of times people shy away from them because they're not good at them. Practice this stuff, man. Even if you gotta go light, okay? It doesn't matter if you gotta do the bar. Practice it, get good at it, get better at it, get stronger at it. Your body will show it, all right? It'll, it'll make a difference, trust me. Ah. 
Mm. Little trick when you're doing these, all right, on the negative, when you come down here, you want to bring them in and let your shoulders stretch. And in doing so, part of that, let the dumbbell roll, all right, to your fingertips. I know it sounds stupid, it makes a difference. No, quick little thing in terms of grip I always take a like a more narrow grip I'm inside I'm inside the lines here on the knurling uh, which is not very wide and probably my elbows come forward a little bit um, I try to go as deep as I can I used to have more flexibility where I could like literally just touch my upper chest I mean shit I used to do it behind the neck that's long gone uh, but I still try to go as deep as I can on each rep. Ha! <sighs> ah. Sometimes you don't know if you're going to come back up, but uh, that's what these safeties are for. I've used them before, too. You know, quick point too, when you look at the three movements that I did, this was the only one I did standing. What's the point? What's the significance of that? If you're somebody who's trying to get in shape, right? You wanna burn fat, do as much of your workout standing and using free weight movements as possible. Why? Because you will burn more calories. Now, it's better to do a seated barbell press than it is a machine press, because you're using more muscles. Now imagine if I took that and I stood up, okay? And I'm doing it standing, overhead press. Well now I'm not only using arms, shoulders, using my back, my glutes, good bit of my posterior chain. Now I'm involving my whole body into the movement. A lot of times when people move into a prep, they start doing more like machine stuff, and more isolated stuff. That's prime time, okay, for heavy compound free weight movements involving as much of your body as possible because you will burn a maximum amount of calories. That's how you achieve optimal condition, right? So do the barbell presses standing, do the rear delts bent over with dumbbells, do this standing. Now you're on your feet. Now you're using your whole body. That's how you improve condition, all right? So... Just a little tidbit. We're coming up just about 20 minutes. I'm gonna unload this, put the dip attachment on, do one set to failure, and this workout's a done deal. I ordered this piece from Sorenex. Really, really like it. Great piece. It's not overwhelmingly heavy, but built like a brick shit house at the same time. It just works. I love like the width and the angle. Everything. Great job, Sorenex. <sighs> Hmm. <laughs> 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 
My shoulders are toast. That was 30 minutes. Hope you found this helpful, useful, entertaining, informative. If it was any one of those things, great success. So I appreciate you guys. Like I always say, like I always say let me know what you want to see from me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. You guys are the best. I'll see you soon.